Hey everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. I am Ishan Sharma and in today's video I'll be talking about the five new year resolutions that you need to be taking up as a developer in 2021. Let's get started with today's video. All right, now these will be some habits. These will be some things that you can do to get better at software development in 2021. All right, now the first thing that you should be doing is to take up the hashtag 100 days of code challenge. If you don't already know, this is basically a challenge in which you decide to code for 100 days straight and you say that I will be coding at least one hour every single day for a span of 100 days at least. And what you also do is that every single day you write a tweet and you use the hashtag 100 days of code and you explain. You say that, okay, today I worked with HTML uh, and uh, yeah, next day you can say that today I worked with uh, CSS Flexbox or CSS Grid or whatever you want to say, whatever you have done on that day, you can express yourself. And that is really great, right? That will help you in two ways. Number one, you will be accountable to write it in the next day as well, which means that you would actually be consistent in your practice. Number two is you will be getting some great feedback from the developers on Twitter. Twitter is a great place for you to be if you're a developer, just to talk to people, connect with developers around the world. So this will be really amazing for you. Uh, a lot of the problems with development and people saying that they are not good at development only comes with consistency. If you were to code every single day, you would actually be in that flow, in that state of mind that, okay, I can just take up a laptop and I can start coding. Uh, and so that feeling will only come if you were to put in time every single day into coding. Okay, so that's what I would say. Take up the hashtag 100 days of code challenge. You can also make your posts on Instagram, on LinkedIn. Uh, the platform doesn't matter, but you have to share your journey every single day. There is also hashtag 100 days of ML code. There's also 300 days of code. There is something called as seven days, seven websites, 30 days, 30 websites. There are a lot of these hashtags that you can use to get into that zone and make yourself accountable. Okay, so that's what I would say. Moving on to the next one, and this is going to be to participate in hackathons. Now, hackathons are really amazing. I myself have participated in two, three hackathons so far. Two were in person and one was virtual. The benefit right now, I think, is that all of the hackathons that are happening around the world are virtual, right? And because of that, what happens is that you will have a lot of opportunities. Previously, we were only limited to our own college and we could go to some colleges nearby, but right now the world has become like a global village for you. Now, participating in hackathons is really amazing because it teaches you two to three things, okay? Number one, it teaches you how to collaborate with people. You will be in a team of people, uh, they will most likely be your own friends, and you will be creating some software from the ground up, at least the minimum viable product you will be able to create in a short span of time. Even if you lose, you will get to learn a lot from it. If you win, you will definitely be getting some uh, you know, monetary benefit, you'll be getting some swags, and all of that would be really amazing. Talking from my own experience, I think I definitely enjoyed participating in hackathons. The problem is that I just didn't get to sleep as much as I could. Uh, but anyways, it was a great experience and I got to learn a lot from it. Now let's talk about where can you find these hackathons. Now there are a few websites. Uh, one is actually going to be Devfolio. Just go to Devfolio on Google. You'll find it over there. And here you can see a lot of the hackathons that are happening in India and around the world as well. Just participate in them and you can start uh, you know, putting up your project and you can see the evaluations and the results of that. You can also take a look at DevPost. That is also a great place to find hackathons. Moving on to the third point, and this one is going to be to start getting into the habit of reading documentation. Let's say I want to learn Tkinter in Python. If you don't know, Tkinter is a module that you can use to create graphical user interfaces, right? GUIs, you can call it. So I can just go on YouTube, I can just search for Tkinter GUI tutorial and I'll get a bunch of videos and I can start watching them. Now what happens with tutorials is that you don't get to learn everything about that particular technology or that particular language. And secondly, you only get to understand the perspective of, of the tutor, the person that is actually teaching you. 
Okay, now that can not always be the most neutral way to learn something. So what I would recommend you to do is to just take a look at the official original documentation of any particular technology. You can go to python.org, amazing documentation over there. You can go to TensorFlow if you're into machine learning, amazing documentation over there as well. A lot of these technologies have some amazing documentation that you can benefit from. So get into this habit. It will also teach you to be active and putting in the effort to learn something new. I think that's what most people are lacking these days. They just take up their earphones and start learning something on YouTube or some other course. Uh, it is a passive form of consuming and learning something. When you actually read something, when you put your head into it, that is when you actually understand everything better. Uh, I think at least that is what is the case with me and with a lot of my friends. This was the third one. Moving on to the fourth resolution that you can take up in 2021 as a developer would be to start participating in open source. Okay. Now this is really interesting. There are a lot of organizations available on GitHub. First of all, you will have to learn about Git and GitHub, which are amazing. These are fundamental to any company these days, you know, the big tech companies or even like the small startups, all of them operate on GitHub and Git. So learn how version control systems work. And once you have done that, you can start, take a look at some repositories that interest you, take a look at some projects that you think are fun, go into their issues tab, and then take a look at beginner issues or first good issues label. Okay. You will find that label, click on that label and start contributing to that. You will find it really gratifying, right? I really enjoy to just contribute to open source whenever I can. And you can also join their own chat room. This is a chat room that every other organization has. Uh, and there you can just talk to them. You can build this relationship with the community over there. And you can also take a look at the opportunities available in open source. You have GSOC, you have season of docs, you have so many other things that you can contribute to. You also have MLH, a uh, major league hacking and the possibilities here are endless, honestly speaking. Now let's move on to the fifth one. This is going to be the final resolution that you will be taking in the year of 2021. And that would be something different to do something outside of coding. I think it's really important to not just be like this nerdy guy or girl who just always uh, puts his head into coding and that's what she or he does every single day. You need to be a little bit open-minded, take up a hobby, take up a skill uh, other than coding and try to learn that. It's really important. I myself go out for running. I am also like to play badminton as well. This first of all takes care of my physique as well as my mental state of mind. Okay, so this is really interesting. This would be my five new resolutions that you can follow in 2021 to become an amazing developer. If you have any questions, make sure that you put them in the comment section below. Also let me know which ones would you be following in 2021. Thank you so much for watching and make sure that you subscribe to this channel and like this video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.